Hello guys, in this tutorial tutorial, we are going to see the basics of school language. So before moving on to our video, if you are new to our channel, please do a subscribe button and hit the bell icon. So without wasting time, let's get started. So for learning, we, we are using w3schools.com. I will provide a link, you can go and learn it. So what is Go? See, Go is a programming language like Python, Java, C++. So, Go is a cross platform, which means we can run it on. We can run it on different OS, different operating systems. We can run it on Windows, Mac OS, etc. And it's an open source programming language. It's completely free. So, everybody, everybody can download and install. So, Go can be used to create high performance applications. So, high per, uh, we can create high performance applications. And then go is fast. It is fast. Strategically type. So what is strategically type? It means we can see later. And compared language. So what is compared language is the programming languages can be converted into machine language, which is uh, which computer can understand. Uh, that is called compiled compilation. So we use compiler to compile compilation. So dynamically typed interpreter language. It feels like dynamically type interpreter language so go was developed by google go was developed by google by these developers robert griezmann rob bike and ken thompson in the year of 2007 so go syntax is similar to c++ if you learned c++ means it would be easy for you so what is go used for so go is used for web development it is in server side and developing network based programs and also developing cross platform enterprise applications which means uh, these applications can run on different OSs. Cloud native development and it is used in cloud side. So why we use Go? So there are many programming languages are there. Why we particularly chose Go means the Go is fun and easy to learn, and it has fast runtime and compilation time. And Go supports concurrency. So many language doesn't support concurrency. So what is concurrency means? We can execute multiple times we can we can execute multiple files at the same time so this is called concurrency is the concept and go has a memory management there's a memory management and go works on different platforms we saw already and then here they give difference between go python c plus plus you can go through and see the differences so notes they have given you see notes Compilation time refers to the translating code into an executable program. So, compilation means the uh, programming code can be converted into executable program, uh, which is main machine code which computer can understand. So, at how much time required is called compilation time. How much time it takes. So, this is called compilation time. And concurrency we saw already. And statically typed. So, see, statically typed means the data types are known at the compilation time so if you declare a variable uh, called int uh, if you declare a variable uh, my variant so the in, uh, int the data type of int is known at the compilation time only so let's get started so here they gave how to install go and uh, how to install ide so this and all they gave you can go through it so we can directly go on the hello world program so right package main so what is main is uh, what we uh, we can write file uh, if you are writing a go file means all the files are stored in the main package only so that we are declaring package main and then we need to import for input output function uh, fmt library fmt library contains input and output function so we are now in this program we are going to print uh, hello world so we are using fmt and then so every program has a main function so this is our main function so how to define a function is uh, to define a function, you need to start with func keyword. 
fuc func keyword followed by function name and then parenthesis in this parenthesis you can pass a parameter and then this is our code block so in go every executable statement must be inside the main function so let's get started so hello world so here we are importing fmt i think i you can understand now fmt is a library where uh, it contains a print uh, input and output statement so if you want to use print means you need to import fmt so we are imported and then we are using we need to go use it how to use that means we need to use with the library name fmt with dot operator and then the what function you are going to use that println function and then hello world so this is how uh, go file looks expand it so see we printed hello world so that's all guys so we will see next tutorials on next videos so thank you guys